Hello and welcome to another video of the Zone Tools tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you how we set up a custom rules, custom threshold at the keyword or ad group level in order for our automation to take a, a specific action based on our goals that we can set as granular as a keyword level. For this example, I'm going to work on this campaign. This campaign I had previously set up the following thresholds so maximum spend ten dollar it will um the concept is, is a maintenance keyword so i'm uh, sorry maintenance campaign strategy so i'm not going to be very aggressive so the maximum spend will be ten dollar which is for this example is about uh, half of what i'm selling the product for uh, the target maximum x will be 20 percent allowing me to pocket 15 percent uh, profit assuming that this product has a 35 percent margin Minimum action click to 10, minimum bid 50 cents, again, not too aggressive. A bid increment 41 cents, which is the number I generally use uh, for no good reason. And conversion rate, I set it to zero because I want this setting to be disabled due to the fact that I'm pocketing 50% profit, even though the keyword might be 20% ACOS or just below. If you want to have more clarification on the settings and what they mean, please do go back and watch a previous video where I teach you how to uh, how automate and set up red threshold and rule to your existing campaigns. And I break them down one by one, telling you the context and how you should use them and how to choose the number uh, that most fit your business. Um, so the rule is already saved, so I'm gonna just exit. You can see the rule over here. It's just telling that within this campaign, we have a maximum ACOS of 20% and a maximum spend per keyword without a sale of $10. Um, let's go and see the ad group. Uh, we have only one ad group, so it's kind of a flat. It's not really py pyramid, just a flat. Um, I'm gonna go and check at the keyword levels. And now what we will try to achieve is we will try to uh, optimize and change the action the engine will take in order to fit our strategy. So uh, we know, because I showed you earlier, that we put a hard stop of ACOS at 20%. Now I'm going to sort all this keyword down by sales. So I want to see the keyword that generated the most sales. And I want to analyze the ACOS data. So straight away, I see that the keyword that generated the bulk of sales as an ACOS that is above 20%. What does it mean? It means that me putting a 20% ACOS threshold, the next time we run the automations, which is generally happened three times a day, this keyword will get paused. All right, we run out automation on the seven days data. So in order for me to tell the system Please don't stop this keyword. I will have to edit this specific threshold. In order to do so, you just double click on the threshold you want to edit. In this case, it's the ACOS. I will double click on the ACOS. And in order not to get this keyword stopped, and knowing that this keyword is a money keyword, is bringing me a lot more than anything else in this campaign. It's, it looks like 80-20, so it looks like this keyword is bringing 80% of the volume within this campaign. I will maybe want to decide to keep this keyword, uh, kick it up a notch and put it, allow for up to 25% ACOS on this specific keyword. And I will save the rule like this. What we see happening right now is that every other keyword within this ad group stayed the way it was, except this one that is grayed out, which is the one I just customized Right, so this customized keyword is now a 25% ACOS, meaning that our automation wouldn't pause it anymore and will keep it running until it goes above 25, hence allowing us to keep profiting from it. Now let's run another example. Let's say that this keyword that is within ACOS, so we wouldn't stop it, but let's assume that this keyword includes our brand name. So in my business, when I'm bidding on my brand names, I want to be extremely aggressive. I don't want other people to steal away the term, that keyword from me. 
So uh, my bidding strategy on my branded terms is very, very aggressive. In order to edit the bid strategy, but I would have to apply on an automated basis on this keyword, I will have to pull out the rules. You can double click on the percentage or you can simply click on the, on the gear icon. And I will tell the system that for this specific keyword, since this keyword is my branded keyword, I want to use a very aggressive bid increment. So let's say I want to bid $10 more than the average that it costed me. So to uh, avoid for any competitor to come in and start bidding aggressive with this keyword and steal it out of me, I want to be aggressive from the start. And I will say this rule. So what you see happen, also the second line now changed. All right, the second line is great because now both keywords are customized. One is customized because I have a higher ACOS compared to everything else within this campaign and ad group. And an average is customized because I have a, a different bid increment compared to everything in this ad group. Now let's scroll down a little bit more. Here I have a keyword that has brought about $5,000 profit in a seven days conversion window and has an ACOS of 30.35%. And it's food brushes. Food brushes is a two word keyword. So most likely, even though I am running this campaign for profit, this keyword most likely is a volume keyword. So I might not want to stop it and pause it because it might be bringing in volume and somehow help my ranking, uh, keeping up my cell velocity. So in order to stop the system from stopping this keyword, I will go here like I showed you before, and I will put, for instance, 32%. So I'm happy to go as I have 32% just to keep this keyword running. I will save a rule. And again, we have another customization applied to this level. And okay, so basically uh, we set up the rules at the top at the campaign level. The rules were automatically pushed everywhere within that campaign and then we went into uh, uh, the keyword level checking the data and we decided to apply specific tweaked strategies at the campaign uh, sorry at the keyword level in order for for the our campaign to keep reaching the goals that we have which is basically make money without losing impression and without affecting our bottom line or our our profitability in order to do so, sometimes you need to variate by the 20% that you set at the level, at the top level, because there are exceptions. And I, I gave you two examples, basically. Now, let's keep going on. Let's say that uh, for some reason, our profitability, overall profitability for this product decreased. Let's say the supplier increased the cost or you have a higher import taxes or you lost a container and you need to account for that within your profitability. So what you would do, what I would do at least, would be go back at the campaign level and I will tell the system that since my profitability move, example, from 35% to 30% and me still wanted to pocket a 15% profit out of this campaign, I will move my echo threshold to 50% for everything in here. And I will say, again, this is just a, an example. Uh, it might not make sense. It's just to show you the mechanics of the rules, uh, the hierarchy, and how the customization behave versus the default rules. So I'm going to save this new rule uh, for the ACOS, the change from 20 to 15%. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to go all the way down to the keyword level. I'm going to show you what happened. Right, so basically you can see that everything that was not customized has changed to the new default that was changed at the top. So every keyword that is not that was not grayed out has changed to 15% ACOS. What does this mean for you and for your business? So basically we allow you with a choice of six thresholds and the push of a button to apply uh, very 
simple rule to all the campaign, as well as we allow you to go in and dig into the data and customize the very simple rule that you set at the top in order to fit any strategy that you might have as granular as at keyword level. Once the customization is set at keyword level, we the software takes the assumption that there must be a reason why you customize it, so we will not touch anymore. So this allows you to be as granular as possible setting rules at, and custom threshold at the keyword level while still having the capability to go at the top of the campaign level and make a bulk edit to everything that was not customized. Hence, making your life much easier and being able to tweak this tool very easily to achieve your goals. Now, in order to understand uh, where the rule was set, what you can do, you pull up and where you should go and change the rule and where is the default and where is customization, you can check and pull up the rule screen and we will tell you over here that this specific custom rule is custom because it was applied at the keyword level. So in order to edit this rule, you will have to edit it at the keyword level. For the non-custom keywords or non-customized keywords, if you were to open the rule of this one and check, the system will tell you that this rule had been assigned at the campaign level. Basically, this tells you that in order to change this threshold, the only way you have to change this threshold would be to act on the keyword itself. But in order to change this threshold, you can either customize it at keyword level or you can go and set new threshold at the campaign level. All right, so we tell you what is the hierarchy level of the rule that has been applied to this keyword. Now to the final concept of this, let's say that you hired a PPC manager, uh, he went very, very deep into the data, he set a lot, a lot, a lot of customization and custom rules at keyword or ad group levels, mm -hmm. and, and you had to let him go. So you don't really know anymore the logic he applied, why was he doing the thing he was doing, was he testing something, you really don't know. So you want, let's say you want to start this campaign for a clean slate. Uh, we do offer you a way to do that. So if you go back at the campaign level and you pull out, pull up the, the rule screen, you will simply tell the system to reset everything to your original 20% and you will ask the system using the switch to override all custom rules. Doing so this time, once I say this, what will happen is I'm going to go down at the keyword level and as you see, all the customization has been overridden and now you're from scratch everything is default so every rule that you see at the keyword level has been set at the campaign level and can be changed in bulk at the campaign level um, this uh, kind of customization works on also on uh, ad groups so whenever you set a custom rule at ad group level the custom rule will affect everything that is within that ad group okay uh, for this video um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. It is a very deep concept. So if you don't understand some detail, you can either comment on the video and I will answer you back or you can chat with us on Skype or simply send me an email and we'll be more than glad to help you out, uh, giving you a better, more in-depth explanation or whatever detail you were missing. Uh, thank you very much for watching.